And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to add gradient overlays to your videos. This effect is often used in TV shows like CSI and also in movies. I've got it simple clip right here. Let me right click new item adjustment layer my projects menu. By default it has the same size as my sequence so I can just confirm it via OK. Put it in your timeline, make sure it has the same duration, so the same size as your footage. And now we want to add a ramp effect to it. We'll find it under video effects generate and it gives us this gradient. The two colors can be adjusted here, so black is the top color and the end color for the gradient at the bottom is white. Let us pick like an orange tone, which could give us this CSI Miami look. And now we'll go to the opacity blending mode and change it to multiply. So this is the original, this is the one with our adjustment. But we can adjust it. Let's switch back to the normal view so that we can see it. And we have these numbers for end and start of the ramp. We can adjust the direction and even the size of this gradient. It's a good idea to always switch back between normal and multiply. Let us get back to normal and I adjust it further. Something like this. If you think that it's too intense, don't use the blend with the original. It creates a little bit of a problem with the adjustment layer. You can see that here. It's better to go to the opacity and it's the opacity of the adjustment layer and then play around with that value. And that's much better. And this would be typical for example for CSI Miami. Let me hold Alt and drag a copy on top. So the one below is my orange. And the one on top, let's give it a green tone, maybe something like this. And I go down with the opacity a little bit more. And now it has more of a turquoise color, so that it might be more like the original CSI. So as I've said, it's not just used in shows, it's also used in movies. And it's mostly used for outdoor shots. It's a simple effect and you can adjust it easily. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.